Welcome, my name is Ashley and I am the owner and creator of Threaded South, which is a streetwear brand. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a gift in Photoshop. I know some people say GIF, but I say GIF, so let's jump right in. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new document and change the width to 300 and the height to 600. Go ahead and name your file and make sure that the color mode is RGB and the resolution is 72. Now go ahead and open up your blue wall texture. Now I am going to rename it. and drag it over into my document. Create a new black and white adjustment layer and change the opacity to 70%. Add a brightness and contrast layer and change the brightness to negative 55 and the contrast to 65. Type out the word made. Change the color to CFE 3F5. Change the font to Nicolini. Now I'm just adjusting the placement of my word and change the font size to 110. Type out the next word, you. And change the size to 90 and keep it the same color and just go ahead and readjust it and type out the next word, which is look. Change the OOK to 150. And the letter L will be 180. And now select all three of the layers and I'm placing it above my brightness and contrast adjustment layers and go to edit, transform, skew, and change the skew to negative five. Place these three text layers in a group and rename this group to pink neon off. Now on this group, we're gonna apply three layer styles. The first one will be stroke. Change the size to two, the blend mode to screen, and the opacity to 51%. And the color I want you to use is FFD5 F3. Now we're going to go to inner shadow. We're going to change the blend mode to multiply and the color to 48025A. Change the opacity to 59. Use global light. Change the distance to 6 the choke to zero, the size to 10, and we're gonna change the contour to the first one and change the noise to zero. Now we're gonna go down to drop shadow. Change the blend mode to multiply, and we're gonna change the color to 181819. 
Now change the opacity to 100%. Change the distance to 31 pixels, the spread to 6%, the size to 13 pixels. And change the contour to the very first one. Now what we're gonna do is duplicate this group and we're gonna rename it Pink Neon On. Now we're gonna make some additions and some changes. Let's start with the stroke. Let's change the opacity to 100%. We're gonna remove the inner shadow we're going to add an inner glow. Change the blend mode to linear light. The opacity will be 100%. And the color will be white. We're going to change the choke to 0. The size to 13. And we're going to change the contour to that one. Now we're going to add a color overlay. Let's change the blend mode to normal and the color will be F600FF. Now we're going to add an outer glow. Change the color to FF00E4. Change the blend mode to screen the opacity to 71. Change the size to 13. We're gonna change the contour to this one that I'm selecting. And we're gonna keep the drop shadow as is. We're not gonna make any changes to that. Now I'm going to select both the pink neon on and off layer and I'm going to place this in a group and I'm going to name it pink neon. Now I'm going to duplicate this group and I'm going to name it blue neon. And I'm also going to rename the inside groups as well so that they both say blue neon on and blue neon off. Now we're going to make some changes to the blue neon off layer first. So let's start with the stroke. Change this color to 9FD6FC. Now we're going to go to the inner shadow and change this color to 022F5A. And we will leave the drop shadow as is. Go to the blue neon on layer styles and let's change those as well. Go to the stroke and change the stroke to 9FD6FC. Inner glow will be left as is. Go down to color overlay and change the color to 63B9FA. Go to outer glow and change the color to 0389FD. and leave the drop shadow as is. Now we're gonna duplicate the blue neon group and we're gonna rename it so that it's orange neon. So go ahead and change the 
inside folders as well to orange neon on and orange neon off. Now we're gonna start with the stroke for the orange neon off layer. Change the stroke to CEA 27A. Go to inner shadow and change the color to C35C02. Leave the drop shadow as is. Go to the orange neon on layer styles and let's change the stroke. Change the stroke color to FFB409. On the inner glow layer style, change the color to FB8E2D. Change the color overlay to FFDA00. Change the outer glow color to C65800. And leave the drop shadow as is. Open up your shoe number one file and rename the layer and convert it to a smart object. I like to convert them to smart objects just in case if I need to resize them and make them larger, I won't lose the resolution. And I'm going to go to select subject, which it has selected my shoe. And I'm going to use my pen tool here to select the areas that the select subject feature didn't include. And I'm going to click on selection and add it to the selection. Once that is done, create a mask. And do this for the other two shoe images as well. Rename your layer and then also convert it to a smart object. That part is optional. It's all on a personal preference. So select select subject. And here you can see it's selected the whole entire leg along with the shoe. And what I'm gonna do here is use my pen tool and subtract the selection of the leg area. and also create a mask for this layer as well. Once you finish adjusting your selection. And open up your final shoe image Rename your layer and convert it to a smart object. And then go up to select subject. And use the pen tool to remove a part of the area that was selected.
and then go up to the selection and subtract from selection. And I'm just cleaning it up a bit more and selecting the areas that wasn't originally selected. And go over here to the shoelaces and include the other area of the shoelace. and make a mask from it. Start from the first shoot and I'm going to drag it over to my GIF document. Resize it and make it smaller so that it fits right underneath your text. You may have to also adjust your neon text layers and move them upward so that it fits. Place your shoe layer within a groove. I normally like to put them within a groove because to me it keeps everything nice and organized. Select your shoe two layer and drag it over to your gift document as well and resize it. and place it within its own folder as well. I'm gonna name this, of course, Shoe 2. And now I'm gonna take my last and final shoe, bring it over and resize it and adjust it so that it fits. Place it within a group and rename it as well. I'm going to make my shoe two and three invisible while I work on my shoe group one layer. And we're going to add some layer styles. Double click this folder. And let's start with an inner glow. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Change the opacity to 68%. And change the color to 3DB6FB. Change the size to 29 pixels. And then leave the rest of it as is. Select outer glow. Change the blend mode to hard light. The opacity should be 77. And the color should be A808. 9A. Change the size to 95 pixels. And the contour should be the very first one. And you're going to click on OK. And then go over to shoe one, right click, and copy layer style. Select our shoe two layer, 
and we're going to paste this layer style by right clicking and paste layer style. Click on inner glow for our shoe two layer and we're going to change the color. This color for inner glow should be 3DB 6FB. And then the color for the outer glow layer should be 98DF4FF. And then repeat those same previous steps by right clicking and pasting the layer styles. Change the inner glow for our shoe 3 layer to CC5303. Then click on outer glow and change this color to E59A02. Now in our next step, we are going to create a nice little button. So type out shop now and use the font Poppins Bold. Change the size to 17 point and the spacing should be 160. Change the color to white and make it all caps. Then go ahead and place it in the middle bottom of our document and select your rectangle tool and make a square with a long rectangle and change the stroke to white and the fill should be none. We're going to make some rounded edges here so in our properties panel change those rounded edges to four pixels. Select the button and place it within a folder. Now select the rounded ellipse tool and make a circle that's not too big and then grab your text tool and we're going to type free shipping around the edge. For the text, we're going to use Poppins Bold, but we're going to change the size to 14.75 and we're going to leave the spacing at 160. So I'm just going to type out free shipping again because we're going to have this actually rotate in a circle once we animate it. I will show you how to do that later. You may have to just adjust the spacing depending on the size of your text. And we can get rid of that ellipse. And from here, I'm going to grab my truck icon from Illustrator and I'm going to copy and paste it into my document. And I will readjust it so that it fits right in the center. I will also rename this layer shipping icon. And placing it within a group. Now go and select one of the neon on layers and we're going to right click this group and we're going to copy these layer styles. So right click copy layer style and select the shipping icon folder and paste the lay layer styles to that. Click on the stroke and let's change these colors around. Change this color to F0 E F E E. Select inner glow and change that color to E8 E8 E7. Select color overlay and change this color to DF, DF, DF. For outer glow, change the color to E0, E0, DF. And for drop shadow, we're going to leave it as is. 
select your free shipping text and we're going to duplicate it three times so that we have four layers in total and each time i duplicate it i am rotating each layer a little bit clockwise and then you can make your top three layers invisible for the free shipping Now here I am starting from my very first frame. So because I'm getting ready to animate it. So go to window timeline and select create frame animation. So on our setup for our second frame, we want to turn our neon on. So just kind of follow what I'm doing here on the screen. I'm turning the glow on my shoe on and also the pink neon text is on. And then I'm going to turn everything back off, turn the glow off, turn the neon text glow off. So like I said earlier, kind of follow what I'm doing on screen. And then you can do the same for this fourth one. Another way to do this is if you take your frame and drag it to that plus icon that is at the bottom of the timeline and it's highlighted on the screen there. So as you can see here, I am creating my frames. So here I'm just speeding everything up because I'm doing the same exact flow that I did earlier and I'm adding this to the other two shoes. From here, I am selecting my free shipping layers. So each frame, I'm turning on a layer and turning off the previous one. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way until the end. So like I said, I'm speeding this part up a bit. And now select all of your layers, right click, and I'm going to change the delay to 0 0.22 seconds. And you can set this if you want it to keep going forever or if you have a set amount of times you want your animation to loop. So as you can see here, this was set to once and it will only go one time. But like I said, if you're using this like for your emails and stuff like that, you should set it to forever. Now to save your file, go to File, Export, Save for Web and then change your format to GIF. In the bottom left corner, you will see the approximate size of your GIF. If you have any size constraints, that will be helpful in determining how big your file will be. But if you need to make it smaller, go over here to colors and you can select the amount of colors that will be in your GIF and you can also preview it. But if you still need for your file to be smaller, you can play around with lossy. And if you want to make it even smaller, other options you can do is changing the diffusion or to a pattern or noise. But for this example, I'm going to leave everything at the original settings and click on save. From here, I'm selecting knit and binder. And this is how I made my gift. So if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so that you will be notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if you want to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thank you for watching.